Oh, look at that, too. You've yeah. got some great pictures today. And it's from our newest meteorologist, oh, Bree. Okay. Casey Dorn has been training with us this week. He had a few days off, uh, hiked a 14er yesterday, Mount Harvard, sent me a few text messages with some photos. Um, Casey will be back in tomorrow training for his big debut this weekend here on News 5 Today. Let's take a look at some other viewer photos. This coming in from a beautiful sunset recently that was taken uh, just uh, the other day. I believe this was taken last night. And this photo from News 5 viewer Serena. Check that out. A stunning orange sky above America's Mountain. That photo taken last night up in Woodland Park. And another great viewer photo. This one taken by Larry Marr. This was the sunset in the Springs taken back on Sunday night. And this from avid hiker News 5 regular viewer Bonnie Sumner took a hike recently up to Mueller State Park. If you have any photos, videos, or storm reports you want to send to the weather team, we would love to see them. Best way to do it, send an email to weather at kowa.com. Temperatures mild on your Tuesday morning. Out the door temps on the plains, mostly in the 60s. Now, by this afternoon, much like what we saw yesterday, we'll see an uptick in moisture. That means increasing clouds and some scattered storms during the afternoon to evening hours. Not going to rain this whole time, but we will see some quick passing showers anytime between about 2 and 8 p.m. Once again, wet is for the mountains, but for the plains, still could see some dangerous cloud to ground lightning as well as gusty winds and some of those hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. So we'll stop future cast around noon, still dry across the state. Anytime after two, storms begin to move into the Pikes Peak region and then they'll spread down to the south. So for Pueblo, you might not see it until after four, and it's no guarantee you'll get wet today. It's one of those situations where storms will be sort of spotty again or hit or miss in nature for areas outside of the mountains. Mountains. Take a look at these highs today. They're slightly cooler than yesterday, but we'll consider it seasonably warm for this time of the year. Mid 80s in Pueblo, 77 for Walsenburg to 78 today in Colorado Springs. It'll be a touch warmer on Wednesday and then by Thursday, that's going to be the warmest day of the next seven. Strengthening downslope winds coming out of the southwest will turn gusty by the afternoon up around 25 miles per hour. Friday, there's a growing concern with even stronger gusts that we could see some high fire danger here in the parts of southern Colorado. For Pueblo, got 85 today, peaking on Thursday near 90 degrees and then gradually cooling. And by the weekend, check it out, 70s for your highs. Overnight lows down to the 40s. Canyon City, pretty warm stretch of weather ahead through the rest of the week. Some storms possible today, and then it's drying out the rest of the week. By the weekend, 70s for our daytime highs, and a low Saturday night of 46 for Woodland Park. One and done storm chance today. Breezy and mild through the rest of the week. Absolutely beautiful by the weekend with a high of 64 both Saturday and Sunday.